Hello, my name is Bella and I'm a junior in the SFS studying culture and politics. Currently, I'm on a year abroad in Madrid, Spain, studying at the Universidad Complutense. And today, I'm going to take you on a day in my life. So usually at this time on Mondays and Tuesdays, I would head to my political science class at the Sonosagos campus, which is about 25 minutes away by bus. It's from 6.30 to 8.30. But today the class was canceled because the professor is sick. So I have a little bit of unexpected free time. So I think I'm just gonna go home and take a little siesta. So now that I'm back in my room, I'm going to try to answer some of your guys' questions. So number one, why did I choose Complutense? So I will take you through my reasoning. Number one is that I knew I wanted to study in a Spanish-speaking country, so that narrowed it down to Latin America and Spain. And I've already lived in Latin America for a period, so I thought I would choose Spain for new experience. Uh, within Spain, I was considering uh, Salamanca and Madrid and I was considering those two sites because those are the two programs that are run directly by Georgetown. The other sites in Spain are actually run by um, and through a company called CIEE. Um, so yeah, uh, between Salamanca and Madrid, um, the two sites both offer um, a lot of cool enrichment opportunities. One of them is the CLA, which is a, a Spanish exam measures your Spanish ability and it's widely recognized. Uh, we also get lessons, like group lessons, um, to help us prepare for the exam. Um, we get uh, individual mentoring around intercultural communication and kind of our cultural immersion experience. Um, and then we also go on excursions as a group. Um, one of the things that Madrid has that Salamanca doesn't is um, the Madrid uh, Georgetown Alumni Network, um, which has been super great because they've actually joined on to some of their excursions um, that they kind of just run anyway. Um, we went to Vineyard with them, we went to Tapas Bar, uh, we went to a monastery and then had lunch at um, an alumni who actually lives in the, the city where the monastery is. Um, so yeah, that's been super great to make those connections. Um, but ultimately, the reason why I chose Madrid over Salamanca was because um, Salamanca has a population of 150,000 and Madrid is over 3 million. So that's just kind of the experience I wanted. Um, but yeah, um, 
within Madrid, you can actually choose between Complutense and Comillas, um, but the two schools could not be more different because Comillas is a small private Jesuit university and Complutense is a large public university. Um, so just very different, um, but Complutense matched my um, major more the classes that I wanted to take. Comillas has a lot of like economics and business classes, um, so it's kind of better if you're studying that. Um, but you can take humanities classes at Comillas, um, but more of their classes are offered in English, which we, we are not allowed to take um, because we have to take all of our classes in Spanish. So yeah, ultimately Complutense was the best fit for my goals, um, when I wanted to get out of the experience in terms of learning Spanish, being in a big city, um, and then also my major. All right, so I'm gonna give you all a quick room tour. So this is my door, and this is it. Pretty big. This is my closet bed, a desk, a bookshelf there, I've added a fan, thankfully. My window just looks out on another building, but you can see the street over there. We have a little TV, as well as books. All of these drawers I get for storage, and yeah, a little basketball hoop. 